What's up everybody? Keith back again. I got a cool video for you about pre-search nodes. Uh, we got put on by a couple guys in the group. I want to give them shout outs real quick. Uh, Danny Carney, awesome dude. Thank you. Uh, Green Wilder hooked us up on uh, some information about it. A couple other guys like uh, Tony and uh, CM, I forget his name. But anyway, all these guys gave us some good information about pre-search nodes. This thing doesn't make as much money as a StoreX node. It doesn't make as much money as a strong block node. But the point is, it's something extra that can attach on to your StoreX nodes with the already VPS that you're running and go run around alongside it and make you a little bit extra money. You can also do it separately if you want. I don't recommend that. Up to you though. Uh, you can do your own thing if you'd like. Um, cool thing about this is um, it's pretty easy to set up. I didn't understand it at first, so it kind of confused me. So I wanted to make a video on this to teach you how to do it. It'd be a lot easier if everybody already knew, right? And you had a little step-by-step -step video that kind of blew right through it. So here we go. Uh, let's start with, if you haven't done so yet, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video all across the interwebs, all right? I most importantly like, because the more people who watch it, the more cool stuff we can do, okay? All you got to do is follow the simple steps right there, like comment, subscribe, and share, and we'll have more people doing stuff. So let's look at now the things we need and the things we want to do. All right, so here's what you'll need for your pre-search node. So the, the simple thing is we're going to use PuTTY just like we do with our StoreX node. We're going to download it on the link you see here. We're going to move my camera out of the way there. We're going to create a beta account on presearch.org because this is still a beta node. We're going to buy a thousand pre, uh, pre tokens either on KuCoin or MetaMask, really up to you, doesn't matter. And we're going to get a VPS from Contabo. If you haven't bought one already, you're going to need one, but you most likely have one if you're doing StoreX nodes. And if you haven't seen the StoreX node video, go back to my other videos and look at the StoreX node video setup. And this will run right alongside it and make you a little bit extra. That's the whole point in it. All right. Here's some helpful links. Uh, CoinGecko is where you'll get your uh, MetaMask link. Uh, Uniswap is where you can buy as well. Uh, there's your Putty Org. Uh, KuCoin.com if you want to create a KuCoin account to buy your pre-tokens. Uh, your presearch.org, obviously, and MetaMask.io. We'll go through what some of this stuff is now. All right. So first, this is presearch.org. Presearch.org is pretty simple. Um, you have to create an account. I've already created that account, so you can't see me do that real quick. But you'll pop this up, and it'll say something like, uh, you know, Make an account. You make an account. It asks you to sign up. You sign up. You'll get an email back in a couple, two, three days with a registration code, okay? Now, I've already got my registration code, so you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'll go to my account, so you can see. Uh, here's the tokens and the rewards stuff, blah, blah, blah. But if you go to presearch.org and then go to dashboard... I'll log in here. There we go. Um, and my account. Let me pull up the dashboard one. There we go. This is my pre search dashboard, which is presearch.org forward slash dashboard, right? Um, you'll get this registration code right here which I've already got, obviously, okay? Um, this is the code that you'll need to put into PuTTY. And we're gonna go through all the steps to that right here. All right, so it's a little confusing, but it's not that bad, I promise. Um, now I'm going to hop over to me making the video. I recorded this separately uh, with no audio so that I could talk over top of it. And uh, this is the things that you're not gonna understand in the video that I wanted to go through a little bit first, all right? So, Real quick, here's your MetaMask extension. It's just like an online wallet. This is the MetaMask.io. You just follow the steps to create your wallet. This is Uniswap. This is where you can buy your pre-tokens afterwards. You can buy them straight through MetaMask, all right? If we go to CoinGecko here and type in pre, you'll see pre-search pop up right here. You scroll down a little bit and you see the little fox symbol. You click that. 
and it asks you to unlock your wallet, but you can add this to your MetaMask and it'll give you the ability to swap your tokens, right? You can just you can you can swap some ETH for it, you can swap whatever any other ERC20 token. This is an ERC20 token. So you can do anything on MetaMask through the Ethereum network with it. Um so I'm gonna hop over now to the video of me making it, and uh, hopefully you understand a little bit better once we watch that video. I'm gonna talk over top of it. All right, so I'm recording over top of myself, so it's gonna look a little weird behind me, but just bear with it, all right? As you can see, I've already got Putty pulled up. Uh, that's what's right here in the corner. This is Putty up here. This is the programming software. It's really simple. I've already inputted my VPS, uh, my VPS IP address, and my VPS password, and this is what pops up. It just says Contabo, and it's giving me a, some, a little green cursor right here saying, hey, what would you like to do? Uh, and this is where I start, okay? I'm gonna talk through this as it goes. All right, let's get it going here. All right, so I'm trying to find out the information now because this is all fresh and raw to us. We don't understand anything, okay? Um, <clears throat> I may fast forward through some of this just to kind of get it going here and obviously struggle busting it and I see the codes and the commands, but I don't fully understand what they mean. So I'm going to fast forward here. Okay, right here, I'm thinking that this is the correct code because it says it is. It is not. I'm going to share the correct code with you right here in a second. I'll let this run for a second. Let me pull up the correct code here and we'll share it in front of the screen so everyone can see it. And then you can actually, if you want, you can also run this very same code and uh, set your stuff up. You can just copy and paste it. Well, you won't be able to copy and paste it, but I'll have it in the description of the video. How about that? That'll be better. Just be in the description of the video. All right, now I've put the code in there that was right here. And it didn't work. It says incorrect and stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why does it say incorrect? That doesn't make sense. I'm thinking about it. You can see the wheels of 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 uh, of, 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 of I don't get it spinning here. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to pull up. See, now I realize that's not right. So I'm going to delete it. Now I'm thinking something's not right. And this was also recorded during a Zoom that we did. So I'm talking to these guys at the same time. And I'm asking them, you know, hey man, what's this? What's this? What's going on here? Why is this doing this? I don't, I don't understand. And now they're saying, hey man, you didn't put your registration code in right. It didn't work right. Do it again. So I've come right back to the same screen. I got the cursor pulled up and I'm asking them, hey, what did I do wrong here? He's saying, hey, man, uh, try the try the other code. I said, okay, I'll try the other code. Let me fast forward to for a second here. He says, hey, take the code and put it in Notepad. So that's what I did. And now he's going, I'm, this is the important part right here. You see me highlighting this your registration code here. This is the part that you erase and you erase this part and put your code in. Your registration code that you copy and paste will go right here. The money sign and your registration code here get deleted and you paste yours in there. They're even saying, hey, no, no, take the, take the money sign off also. Okay, I'll delete it. And I did, I tried it. It didn't work. I screwed it right back up. So I said, okay, let me figure out what I did wrong. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Now I'm copying my registration code. I'm pasting it. And now I've got it correct. Now this isn't the actual code for you. This is just mine. If you use my code, it's going to give me more nodes. So don't do that. That would be stupid. <laughs> This is all beta, it's all, it's all fine. And now I'm realizing, okay, I think I've got it right now. So here's where we copy and paste, okay? 
They're saying, ah, oh, just click edit, copy all. And I'm an idiot and I didn't do that at first. And there's my registration code again. Select all. Copy. I'm going to go over to Putty and I'm going to right click. I'm refreshing the page, make sure it's refreshed. Here you can see I've got 16,000 pre tokens deposited already. I have right clicked and I hit enter and the code starts working. This is where it was working correctly now. The first time I did it, it didn't work right. Got the code done. You can see it says pull complete, pull complete, pull complete. It's up and running now, it's good to go. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. I'm asking them, is that right? Does this look correct? They said, yeah, you're good. So I've got the cursor down here waiting to ask me what to do next. They said, you would have had this big P pop up if you were done. I never saw that happen. So now I'm waiting. I do it again. I delete it. I'm like, hey, man, this thing didn't work right. I'm talking to them. I said, try one more time. This time I did it. Pull complete, pull complete, same thing. Nothing's working, right? <clears throat> so I try it one more time. This is where I have changed the code. You see these semicolons? This wasn't in the original one but the one I'm gonna give you has the semicolons in it. And that was the problem. Coding is a little complicated like that, but I messed that up. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna paste, and I'm gonna hit enter and watch what happens. Runs all the same code and then bam, the blue P pops up. And that means I'm good to go. The blue P's up, we're good, we're squared away. This node is operational. I'm gonna go back they say, hey, look on the bottom, it'll pop up down here. And as you see, it doesn't say anything yet, right? It doesn't say anything yet. So I'm like, well, what do you mean? He says, well, just, hey, just refresh. I've already got my pre-tokens in there, 16,000 of them. This is what I'm gonna use to stake onto my node with. We'll get to that in a second. So I've refreshed the page and now there's my node. It says steak. How much would you like to stake? Well, I have 16,000 and I have four VPS services. So I'm gonna split that up into four. Here's me doing the math. I realize that's 4,050 basically per node. All right. So I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna type that in. I'm gonna hit my description. You can name it whatever you'd like. I did my normal, my normal node name. I do that for all of them because I really don't like that guy. Name yours whatever you'd like. I'm gonna scroll down here. He says, click these two boxes to send emails if it disconnects or reconnects, which is what I did. and hit update, that's all I did. And it says node updated, you see it right there at the top. Back to node list and now look, I'm gonna scroll down here. And we got the green plug, good to go. Stake, not 4,059, she's up and running. So now I'm gonna go through and do it for the rest of my four, four of them. I have three more to do. So I've closed Putty. I'm gonna pull up my other VPSs. I'm just yapping my jaws here, hang on. Here's me doing it again. I've got my root, I'm putting my password in now. Popped up, I'm gonna copy and paste again. Copy. I'm gonna right click to paste and I'm hit enter. Off she goes. 
This is node number two. I'm watching it carefully to see does it work. I'm looking at the same thing you're looking at right here. P pops up. We're good to go. That's node number two. I'm going to go back through. I'm going to stake 4,059 to it. I'm going to name it just like I did my other ones. I'm going to click the, click the boxes here. And I'm going to hit update. Node updated. I'm going to go back to the node list. I'm going to scroll down. I look at there. Two nodes running. I'm elated. You can't see me, but I'm in there doing this right here because I got it working. I go through and I do all four, okay? There's me doing another one. Here's me doing another one. All right. And here is the last one. Last one is up and running. All right, so here's an important part. All right, I can see all four nodes and you can see the reliability store, score starting to build here. Okay, it's at 25 and zero and these haven't got going yet because I just started them at that time. All right. However, now those scores are much higher. They're much higher now. So that's pretty much it there. Um, I'm going to, right here at the end, I'm showing you where to download this stuff because people are watching me, like I said, do this. And I was in the background uh, kind of telling them what to do as I'm doing it, okay? Um, which seems a bit ridiculous, but that's the way it goes, okay? Right here is my current scores. Reliability scores of 75, 74, 68, 68. I've earned 7, 8, 6, and 8 pre it's been, a, it's been about a day and eight hours since I made these. Um, in that time, I can claim right here. I'll claim it. I have 19.27 pre. I refresh it. I have 30 pre. 30 pre tokens. 30 pre tokens at three cent. Not very much, okay? It's just about three cent right now. So 30.25 times 0.03. I made almost a dollar. So I'm going to make right at 65 or 70 cents per day. doesn't seem like a lot, and it's not. That's why I don't recommend you buy a VPS to do this with. I recommend that you don't buy a VPS to do this with. And I recommend that you run these alongside your StoreX nodes. And again, if you haven't seen the StoreX node video, go check out the other videos I have. And I have a StoreX node video to set up how you do it. And you can run this right alongside it on the same VPS. All right, so we'll end this off here. I'll stick, I'll stick the uh, ending of the video in now, and uh, y'all enjoy. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, it's a real simple thing to do once you get the hang of it. You see, after I figured it out, I was able to knock four nodes out really quickly. The first one took a minute. The next three were very, very quick. Bang, bang, bang. Um, some simple things that I didn't talk about earlier. The rewards, I'm earning about one pre per hour. You can see my staking amount right there. Um, uh, that's not very much money, obviously. It's not very much at all. It's about $15 a month at the current rate. Now, the chart does look like it's going to go up, so that may increase. This is an early shot at trying to get in super early on nodes, okay, because we found out that that's the best way to make the most money is to get in quickly. And if you can get in quickly, you can make more later on. So just a thing that we're trying to do is uh, make a little bit more money passively. This is a good chance at passive opportunities. And those passive opportunities doesn't always come very often. So when they do, we like to try to get in there and get our get our money while we can. So thank you for watching. Uh, please do so quickly. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, send this all around the web. Uh, we get some people watching this so people can understand how this works. Make some extra passive income. So thank you from me, from the rest of the assassins right here, the 786 assassins. I appreciate everybody's help. Thank y'all. See y'all in the next video. Y'all be good. Peace.